Well, good evening. Uh, this is Pastor Rob, and for this Tuesday, uh, April 28th, I'd like us to consider the following scripture. It's from Romans chapter 12, and I'll be reading the second verse of Romans chapter 12. The Apostle Paul writes the following by the Holy Spirit. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. The reason that that scripture is so important for us is that when we consider uh, our time uh, within quarantine and, and what God is saying to us in this moment, one of the things that he's saying to us over and over again, especially as people uh, of a predominantly secular culture with secular education, we need a renewing of the mind. What does that mean? It means that we need to change our thoughts. We need the Holy Spirit to come in and do a deep cleaning so that we're thinking the way God thinks, not the way the world thinks. And you and I might think that we're doing just fine in that area, but understand that there's a lot of garbage that has been placed in our hearts simply through the educational system. The educational system that we have right now is essentially atheistic. It might even be pagan from time to time, but it's either atheistic or pagan, but it's not certainly Christian. In fact, it's uh, at war with Christianity and Christian thought. For example, I uh, was visiting with my daughter, and she is in uh, a college, Valley City State, very good teaching college, at least that's what they expect that they are called, and that's, they're expecting that's their reputation. They're a very good teaching college. Uh, so she's in this science class, this geology class, and one of the test questions asked her and the class how the world began. And of course, there, there were a number of different answers you could give. But what was interesting was that one of the answers was that God created the world, and that was considered one of the wrong answers. One of the wrong answers. It's really the right answer, but it was considered one of the wrong answers. Now, the question you need to ask is, why did they include God as one of the wrong answers? Because it could have included any kind of thing, but why God? Why bring God into that series of answers? And the reason really is that the secular uh, educational system is doing what they can to get it into people's spirits that the wrong answer is always God. If the answer is God, that's the wrong answer. We don't look to God for anything. We look to our own understanding. We look to our own science. We look to our own, our own strength and our own theories. What's interesting is that in that class, uh, they were also teaching about a world, worldwide flood. A worldwide flood. That they said by science, they, they see that it's true. There was a worldwide flood, but would they acknowledge God? No. So, what does this tell us? All of us have been in the public, most of us anyway, have been in the public educational system. And I have to tell you that even when I was growing up in the public educational system, there were times when we were led to the right answer, and the right answer was never God. The right answer was something we made up, something we decided, not something that God had said or God had done. And even though in our science classes or, or in our history classes, we would see that there were certain things that happened which God's Word had already told us about, the answer was not God. The answer was not anything that He had for us, we had to find a different answer because the one thing the educational system did not want as society did not want was for us to come to, to the conclusion that God is in charge and we need to listen to him. There are a lot of people 
who are walking around in life with this idea planted within them that the wrong answer is God. Let me say right now that that is from the world and that is from the devil. But it's not true, praise the Lord. <laughs> the right answer is God. And what we need to do as individuals is we need to get back in the Word and make a commitment that we are going to look for the answers that we need from God. And that doesn't mean uh, that we don't have medical science, and that doesn't mean that we don't examine things, but it does mean that we submit everything to God through His Word. We submit to Him. We need to come to the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, renew our minds so that by testing we may discern the will of God, what is good and perfect and right, and that we may walk according to your will and your word and not according to our own understanding, which gets us in trouble every time. So as we're locked in during this time of coronavirus pandemic, Let's ask the Lord to help renew our minds, that the Holy Spirit would come and take out of us every root of secular thinking, atheistic thinking, thinking that was planted in us by our educational system, by our museums, uh, by, by all kinds of different ways of thinking that the world has given us. And let's make a decision that God is the right answer. His word is always the right answer. And if the answer that we're, we're told to li listen to isn't from God, it's a lie, and we're going to listen to God. Let's pray. Father, we do need the renewing of our minds and our hearts. Uh, too often we have uh, taken within us the falsehoods in the world, and the world is, is, is being controlled by the devil. So, Lord, we just ask in Jesus' name, that you would burn out every root and branch of compromised sin and worldliness and worldly thinking in our lives so that we remember that you're always the right answer and we turn to you to find the answers that we need in life. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, God bless you all.